And we're back at Electric Picnic. This time I'm joined by James from Hadouken. How are you? All right, thank you. And is this your first time down at Electric Picnic? Uh, yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, we've done Dublin and Belfast before, but it's the first festival in Ireland, yeah. So are you kind of, how are you feeling about it? There's a great atmosphere today. You're very lucky with the weather because it's been kind of not too great, but the sun has come out for you today. Oh, yeah. Well, I haven't seen much mud about, so it must have been kind of been too bad. The other festivals we've done this year have been pretty muddy, so this looks pretty good. Anything's a bonus, really, but it's just wellies and mud up to here normally. But um, so what's going on with you guys? The album's out a while now, and you're together about two or three years, are you? Uh, yeah, that's right. We've been going about two years now, uh, coming up September, and uh, we've um, yeah we just uh, finished the first album. We're going to go on with the second one soon. And you, I believe, are responsible for sort of putting the group together. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, I, I I do a lot of the writing and I got it in gear and stuff like that. But um, you know, it's obviously a joint effort now. And it, your music is actually what I love about it is the sort of a crossover because I know certainly in Declaration of War there was remixes from Kissy Sellout mm. on it who was playing here actually on Friday and mm. is that sort of are you kind of would you be aiming towards the sort of electro as well as sort of indie or what way would you kind of describe it yourself? We don't actually we've come to this conclusion that we don't describe <laughs> it anymore. We just make the music we make and we let the journalists make up silly names for it. But um, it's essentially just just music that you can get down to and enjoy really. Yeah, it is, because even nowadays there's so many genres of this and, you know, you're kind of, it, they kind of tend to pigeonhole people into mm -hmm. things, so you're kind of happy enough just to, to make good music and, and go with the flow, yeah? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And um, would you have any particular influences or anyone over the years that you've got to listen to and kind of maybe taken bits of that yourselves? Yeah, certainly. I'm a big fan of The Prodigy. I think The Chemical Brothers would be an influence, um, even The Streets and um, then contemporary stuff, kind of like Arctic Monkeys and Just Dece and stuff like that. And fan-wise, I believe you work quite closely with your fan club on that. Do they have much of an involvement in, in what you're doing or, or things like that? Uh, yeah, the, you know, we like the fact that you, on the internet you kind of get very close to the fans and, and communicate with them and, uh, you know, we owe a lot to them a lot. So, like, yeah, we're always chatting to them on the internet and stuff like that. Yeah. It's nice to be close to them as well, I'd say, and at least you get a good bit of feedback because some bands are quite sometimes a little bit removed from their fans and when people go and see you, I'd imagine they feel a bit closer, they feel like they perhaps know you somewhat. Mm. Yeah, I think um, it's good to kind of have a sense of perspective by chatting to fans and seeing what's going on and what they're into and, and what songs are going down well and you know where they want us kind of you know to, uh, you know what to enjoy. So you know we're always mindful of that. And what's next coming up for you guys? Is there anything kind of a tour or what's happening with you at the moment? Uh, we're just finishing the festival uh, season. We've got one more to do after this in the Isle of Wight, and then we are going straight back into the studio to record the second album. Excellent, and you're on later tonight. Um, are you looking forward to the performance? Anything that I believe it's going to be? I haven't seen you guys live before, so I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's mm -hmm. kind of a mad sort of a stage show, or what would you say? Uh, it's just quite energetic, quite a lot of energy. So hopefully, if you're down the front, it should be pretty sweaty and pretty uh, mad. Yeah. Well, I'll make a note of that one. So, and is there anyone? Are you going to get a chance to see anyone later on today, or are you kind of are you going to bother? <laughs> um, well, there's loads of bands I want to see. A lot of them at the same time as us, but um, I can recommend these new Puritans and, and CSS because uh, they play, they've, I've seen them at other festivals. Yeah, CSS are great live. They played a gig down here in Carlo a while ago. I got, yeah. got a chance to see them and it's just, I think it's, is it Love, uh, what's the? Love I, Fox. Love Fox, that, I always can say Lovelace. I think that's from Happy Feet. Um, Love Fox was just such a character. I saw her yeah. coming onto the stage and went, oh my God, like just yeah. real kind of a show person, you know? Yeah. Well, look, it's been great to talk to you, James. I hope you have a great set tonight and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks very much. Thank you.